Hello viewers. Today we're going to be doing an initial checkout on this Uniden EWCI936. And I, I think I already did an initial checkout on this, but I don't remember. And I know somebody had asked to see it ringing, so I figured now it's probably the um, best time to do that. So, uh, let's see here. I'm, I'm recording off into the corner kind of awkwardly because of the border freak show here. So first, let's get the telephone powered out. This freeze and say, I gotta increase the power in this year here. Okay. Unfortunately, because of the Christmas lights, I can only run one here at the time of time. Usually I can run two. I wish I had gotten this phone set up earlier because the past couple of days we've been having really outrageous temperatures. It was down to negative 11 last night. So it would have been cool to have this to be able to always keep an eye on the temperature. But anyways, this does have a clip as you can see. It had a clip on it most of its life. I have the clip upstairs or floating around here it's somewhere. Maybe in a box of clips I gotta clean. I'm not gonna put the cover back on for testing because the, the foam has spoiled and it's just gonna make a mess of my battery. Okay, and now we got to get um, batteries in this thing. Oh, for some reason it's uh, not going to come out. There we go. forbidden I'm gonna put I'm gonna mix different kinds of batteries oh dear we got a Duracell battery and two energized batteries I can get the things in here okay check the battery seems to be good we got a little indicator coming on there so let's see if this will refresh and get us a reading And this does have a backlight, I believe. Look at that. And there we have a reading. We have 65 degrees. Let's see what the temperature is in here according to my other thermometer. Yeah, the thermometer is reading 66. This is reading 65.8. Oh, now we have 66. Um, I'll go ahead and set this next to the heater for a minute and see if it wants to go up. Wait for that to refresh. I'll zoom this in so you can. No, that's out. I'm not sure how quickly this thing refreshes. Probably not more than a. There we go. Maybe a minute or so, 30 second intervals. But that's going up, so that's clearly working correctly. This was is cold because it's sitting next to the oil tank. So, uh, that's probably why that's reading so low. I'm sure that'll go up as we record. So, um, let's connect this to the phone line here. After how many productions, I decided to run a phone line over here. So this is really great. Much more convenient. And get the testing phone. And I will connect this now. 
And uh, what's in here? Do we have... Actually, this is a weird phone, at least in comparison to the other, the, the non-weather version of this, because it doesn't have a base ring or anything. Let's do a fine handset. Jeez, that's loud. All right, what kind of ring are we got? We'll leave it in there. Um, let me go into the menu and get the auto talk on. One. Okay. So I'm going to go call it now. Hello, 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 hello. That sounds a little bit faint. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Check. Let's uh, call something that's not in the same room. Let's get a better uh, check on that. Call the weather phone. I think that's a hair quieter than these usually are. Actually, I don't know. I'm used to the 370s, and those are kind of loud. Uh, it's not distorting at all, so I'm not going to worry about it. But I do think it's a hair quieter than it should be. Uh, okay, well, anyways, uh, let's check the buttons out here. We know Slack works because I used it before. Check the weather here. That seems to be working correctly. It's, uh, I wish it was 77 degrees outside. That would be phenomenal. Alright, uh, looks like that's working good. So, um, you know, then a whole lot else to do with this as far as the checkout goes. Phone line plugged back into films that are actually connected. And oh, jeez. As I always say, it wouldn't be one of my productions without that happening. Um, yeah, let's see. I guess we could. We can test the alarm, I suppose. Um, we'll, we'll wake up at. Uh, 1209 or we'll do 1208 just for difference between select and enter. Uh, well, we'll say it's... We'll go back to OS uh, 7 here. And I'll turn the alarm on. And then in theory it should go off in approximately one minute. And while we're waiting for that, I'm going to go ahead and take the batteries out of this.
go. Alright, so it looks like that worked. So, um, we're going to go ahead and get this refurbished now. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and out.